They say that many of the teachings of how we live come from the grizzly bear. The bear dance is a medicine healing dance, a ceremonial dance, but also a celebration dance. There is no other dance like it. The actions and movements mimic the movements and gestures that a grizzly bear would do. And so scooping up my hand, harvesting the salmon. When I'm shrugging the shoulders, that's like Grizz is walking on the earth. Sometimes they're very playful and they're trying to catch a butterfly or a bee, so they will be jumping up. When I'm wearing the hide, I am one with Grizz. I am the bear. So here he is. So what's his name? Grizz. Yeah, you can come and pet him. Grizz is the grizzly bear that I dance with. He's from my community of Hoistin. The grizzly bear habitat has been encroached upon. Grizz was put down for the safety of humans. Guess how he sharpens his claws? Scratching on the tree. And so with that, my community retrieved him, and from there, um, I've been with Grizz. So I've danced with Grizz and ceremonied with Grizz, had a sweat lodge with Grizz, bask in the sun with Grizz, do yoga with Grizz, and that's a part of acknowledging Grizz's spirit. We don't hunt bears and we don't kill bears. If we look after the grizzly bear, then we are also looking after the sustainability of our culture. I used to powwow dance and do the whole powwow circuit thing. I took a step back from that because I began to realize powwows were never a part of Bear Clan culture. And so I wanted my children to see that you don't have to do those dances, you can do your own dances. So all my history and all my strength and all my songs and all my ancestors, those are the memories that keep me going and keep me moving. Woo, bear hug. Good job.